Welcome back, viewers. Attempt number see, one, two, three, four, six. Shai explains that there are two ways to repair the Izayoi sword. One way is to try to fix it with the steel Resai has on hand. The other is to mix in the steel from another sword that is as strong as the Izayoi, such as the Shichisto. However, mixing in the steel from the Shichisto may have an effect on the power of the Izayoi that one cannot predict. The heavens have given you a choice. Now, choose wisely. Okay, so, this mission has choices you can make. Since I've already got the other choice down, I'm just going to go with my usual choice. Bringing a fuck ton of those in. I don't normally do this, but I am this time. And you'll see why soon enough. Resai, will this suffice? What is this? It is the sword of Mayo. It is as strong as he was powerful. The sword of Lord Mayo. They are after me. I leave the sword to you, Rezai. Hold, Rikimaru. Take this. But that's... It is the Muramasa. This sword has protected my family for generations. Only the Muramasa can kill the undead in the cemetery. Use it, but be careful. It drains the energy of he who wields it, and he who is cut by it. But by mercy of the sword, the wielder's life will not be taken in full by the sword alone. In exchange for fixing your sword, I ask that you bring me some metal from the house in the cemetery. I am in debt to you. Okay, so here we go, viewers. Yosh. Is it? Well, yes, it's annoying that you can only use the most the uh, Muramasa to kill these enemies. It's actually not all that much of a problem, just because of the uh, where are you facing, asshole? That way, huh? Well, you're dying now. Either way, like I was saying, it's not actually all that much of a problem just because of the, uh... These guys are easy to stealth kill. You will not get any health back until you actually kill an enemy, by the way. So if you attack them, you won't get... or you'll get... You won't... yeah, you won't get any health back. I'm coming for you. I gotcha. But yeah, if you if you just regular attack them, you won't get any health back, and that's the main problem with this mission. In a certain area that you will that you guys will be seeing very soon, and it's that, that and it's that area that's been annoying the fucking hell out of me. Uh. And that area is right here. You have to kill a total of eight enemies normally, like just through normal attacking. And you wouldn't think that would be too much of a problem, considering how... Yeah, consi considering 
that uh, uh, if you're thinking that you're just fighting these guys one on one or hell even two on one would be significantly more preferable than this but no you're fighting these guys like three or four on one and it's very very fucking difficult Basically, my advice to you viewers at the moment is pick off the weaklings first. The ones you can't block. That kind of, th those kinds of enemies. Pick off those guys first before going after the swordsmen. So basically go after the cultists, demons, and the archers first because those are the ones that cannot block. Also notice how that kick did no damage whatsoever. That's because only the sword can deal damage to these guys. And you're just immediately starting with fire, of course. Yay. But just just try and get the cultists or just try and get any given enemy alone. Because fighting these guys alone is significantly easier than fighting these guys with others around. Also, definitely remember your bestest best friend, the X Cancel. X Cancel. It's gonna save your fucking life, believe me. Not believe it, viewers, believe me. It doesn't even exist in this world. But if you know you're gonna be missing, or the enemy is blocking or something, definitely tap the X, cause. It's a hell of a lot more preferable than being hit, that's for sure. And then more enemies come. Yay. Chugga 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 choo choo. Aha. And this is why I brought in health potions. While they do supply you with one health potion right there, uh, it's best if you come in with some health potions of your own just because of how annoying it is to fight against all of these guys at once. Follow the motherfucking leader. Come on. Attack, my friends. Attack. I think that cultist is by itself. I'm gonna kill it. Hey, Mr. Cultist. There you are. Good night, my friend. I'm getting there. And then there's another archer. But archers are much preferable, or er, I prefer archers over the swordsmen any day, just because archers can't fucking block. Finally, got him. And you have to actually kill them, otherwise this path down here will not actually be open. I don't know why it's not open, but it won't be. But once you have them all murdered, you can just move the fuck on. Yeah, hey, buddy. Hey, I certainly hope you don't mind, but I'm just going to go on and pop an invisibility and kill the both of them. 
one front stab for you. Up, up, on over. And another front stab for you. And that's why I brought in the invisibility. Just because there are two enemies in that area who can be quite annoying to try and take out otherwise. Oh, and by the way, that section, viewers, does not count against you in the... Uh, something or other. Uh, does not count against you in your end score, because that's a forced encounter. Hey friend, thanks for my ninja ability. Although in this mission it's quite useless. If it's the one I'm thinking of anyways. Yep. Yeah. This mission in this mission it's quite useless because these guys are gonna if they know you're there, they're just gonna keep on attacking. Very annoying that way. But at least I do have that ninja ability, so... Bollocks. That was a close one. Hey, friend. Yeah. You're rather ugly looking. And now you're rather dead. That nah, I'm kicking his head around. this way. Wow, well, he's still coming. I'll check a bow well. Go for it. Good night, my brother. That was actually close. <laughs> Who do we have up here? Find your penis. One dollar. One dollar. Find your penis. One dollar. Sorry. And I got colored rice to mark my way when I are lost. But I'm always lost. So I guess it's to mark my way when I'm found. I actually find the colored rice very useless in this game. Just because you really don't have anywhere else that you have to... Like, there, it, this game is pretty much really linear. You don't have any other directions that you can go other than forwards. Now, in other Tenchu games, not, um, well, it's already out, so Tenchu Z, in that game, yeah, it's a little bit, it has a bit more of use. But, in this game, it I just never found the colored rice all that useful. But that's just me. Other people can find it useful. Me, I've just never had a use for it. Beyond, of course, bolstering my item count. Hey, buddy. Die. Now, I'm 
sure y'all are kind, at least a little curious as to the health that you get back from enemies. Uh, if I remember right, it's based on what kind of kill you make plus how much health that enemy has. Or plus half of how much health that enemy has or something like that. I, I don't know what the exact math is about it, but I know stealth killing some enemies will give you more health than stealth killing others. Ah, that's much better lighting. Say, uh, buddy. Die, please. Thank you. I don't know why my game has so much problems with this one mission in particular. Like, I, I, I know that it's been getting a lot of slowdown. And I'm not quite sure why. This is Princess Nickelbottoms. I have a special delivery for one M Crazy Psycho Bitch. That's an Eric Jack shit over there. Ah, I see you. How far for this way are you gonna go? Well, I'm still coming. Okay, good, it stopped. Good boy. was a close one. Let's see what your pattern is, my good friend. Your pattern is walking this way. That's not good. So I'm just gonna do this and murder you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Die. Turn around. Good boy. Get your head a little, just for your... Just, just, just as a reward, I will kick your head. Well, this place seems rather bloody. Oh, boy. Getting that guy can be kind of difficult if you don't have invisibility or something like that. Just because that right 
that down there acts as water, and if you walk regularly on it, enemies will kind of notice the sound and be like, oh, um, hey, there sounds like, um, sounds like someone's there. Floating zombie head. Bring it on. Getting this guy can actually be fairly difficult. Getting him without alerting the kitty, anyways. Okay, works for me. Hi, kitty. Well, that was a failure. Luckily, all of the enemies' AI works off of the same exact programming, so you can just run around two corners. I usually go three just to be on the safe side, but just run around two corners and they'll just not be able to find you ever. Gotta love derpy AI. Okay, so let's see what I've got left. And maybe it's what I've got right. I'm sorry, viewers. That joke was not funny at all. Zombies having a conversation? God damn it. I hate enemies that are close to each other. I really, really do. I'm just gonna go out and hurry, kill your enemy, and back roll. Some awesome. Dear Lord, I sure hope that I got enough stealth kills to even out how many times I've been spotted. I do not want to go back to this mission. No, I do not. Thankfully, zombies, unlike other enemies, Whenever there's a friend of theirs that's just laying around, they will not go into caution mode. So, we got a little bit of luck on that, just because they will never go into caution mode whenever they, whenever there's a, whenever there's one of their friends around. You are the last asshole who is in my way. So I sure hope you are. Probably not. These things are basically the zombie dogs. Or the zombie version of dogs. They sort of just wander around.
Okay, there it is. I was wondering where that other enemy was. And as long as you're back to turn, I guess I'll go on and just get that easy kill. An easy slowdown kill. I got a present for you. You better like my present, asshole. I don't give it to just anyone. This guy's actually going to be kind of difficult to get. Especially considering Greg and Maru's love of clinging onto walls that I don't want him to. worrying a little bit about that one. Greetings, Ricky Maru. Your skills are impressive. Who are you? I am Tindai. Your unique talent could be useful to me. Joy. Never. Then, then you are a fool. We shall, we shall meet, meet again, again Azuma. Azuma. Until, Until then. then. What? No, it, it can't be. Has he brought you back to life too? Okay. So. Oh, thank fucking God. Grandmaster. Now, notice how I have 700, 725 points, even though I've only gotten 460 out of the stealth kills and 55 out of normal kills, minus the... T wait. Let's see. Um, let's see. Four, six. Okay, yeah, it adds up. But may maybe I'm thinking of... Something else. Entirely. Anyways, I got this first. I, I got this. I got this. So, yeah. I'm done for now. We'll see y'all next time, viewers. Please, do your best to fix Izayoi with the steel you have on hand. You are sure about that? Yes. They are after me. I leave the sword to you, Rezai. Hold, Rikimaru. Take this. But that's... It is the Muramasa. This sword has protected my family for generations. Only the Muramasa can kill the undead in the cemetery. Use it, but be careful. It drains the energy of he who wields it, and he who is cut by it. But by mercy of the sword, the wielder's life will not be taken in full by the sword alone. In exchange for fixing your sword, I ask that you bring me some metal from the house in the cemetery. I am in debt to you.